Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again today. Um, I'm Erica Hughes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. All my mixing instructions, um, I have a video link to how I mix in the description box underneath this video. So please feel free to check that out if you want to know how I mix my acrylic paints and my pigments. Um, we will jump into the video. I just wanted to show you guys the dried result of my last um, upload. This is a Dutch pour. Um, I use some fabulous colors and I'm actually going to be using those colors today in a chaos Dutch pour. So this one is just about dry. It's a little bit wet here and I have to touch up here because a little creature decided he wanted to hang out in my paint last night. So there you go. No complaints on how it dried except for that little critter. Or little gnat or something. I hope you guys like that one. I think it's gorgeous. So let me just move this one over here and let it finish drying. Okay, so for today's pour, I'm gonna go for a chaos style Dutch pour. Um, I'm going to try and just wing the composition. Um, I'm going to probably stay away from like the edge ones that I've been doing. Um, I'm going to try to go through the middle with it and blow out. So what I'll do is I'll put the colors down first, blow those around just to blend them. Then I'll add the base into hopefully some of the negative spaces and we'll just blow out a few petals and hopefully get a nice piece. This is a 14 by 18 inch deep edge canvas. So it will look like I'm putting a bunch of paint down because I need to consider, you know, the edges. Make sure those are nice and covered. Hopefully I have enough paint. I'll go over the colors really quick. So I have Amsterdam Prussian Blue. I have this little piggy pigment Lemon Sorbet. And we have the pinwheel again. I have Galaxy by this little piggy and that's mixed with some wagtail black just to make this a little bit more opaque. And we have Cobalt Violet Hue by Golden. I'll show you the two because there's lots of different paint, golden paints. So there we go. I have some Zinc White by Amsterdam for my base, and I may sprinkle some in with the chaos part, but other than that, that's it. So let's get started. I have my torch here handy, pop some air bubbles if needed. Okay, let me get rid of these sticks, just throw them up there. I'll be using my mini um, travel hair dryer. It's 1200 watt, and it'll be set on low heat. There's only two settings on my hair dryer. It's low and high. Uh, warm air, no cool air. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm gonna move this, no, I'll keep that there because I may use it. Make sure there's nothing on my canvas. It's nice and tight, that's good, okay. Okay, so let's go some Okay, we'll drizzle some white down just a little bit. I haven't even really thought this out. I'm just kind of winging it because I'm trying to do a different chaos um chaos style Dutch pour with a different composition than I've been normally doing. So, we'll see. I'm just kind of putting a few little white um, drizzly white bits. Okay, so I don't know what we're doing. We're just doing it. <laughs> Yeah, see, I didn't really want that, but okay, it's fine. 
and I'm messing up all over the place. I'm saving some of that for the top. I want it to go blue first, or the Prussian blue. Okay, we can go back and add some if needed, not a big deal. Let's just try and get somewhat of a different composition going. So this is the cobalt violet hue. As you can see, I'm clearly kind of winging this. Um, we'll go for the galaxy with the wagtail by the Bloom Gel stain. Get in some of that. Do, 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 do. Of course, we got to get that pinwheel in there. Well, what am I doing, you guys? It's <laughs> more. This kind of goes, if it hits that galaxy, it's going to kind of go more gold than anything. Well, sure, might as well use it all. That's pretty as it is. <laughs> Maybe not. And we will give, just go for a drizzle of this zinc white. And then I'm going to stop. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's turn on the switch. Okay, so here's my hair dryer. Now I'm just going to um, gonna blow this out. Not like with petals, just to kind of blend it and then maybe move it around a bit. This gonna turn out decent. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put a little bit on and then I'll probably either get my palette knife and spread this out or just blow the bigger sections out with the hair dryer. Jeez, I kind of want to tilt it around. It could be fun if I just tilted it. No, maybe another time. Hmm.
just went ahead and blew that off a little bit here. Um, probably see that I'm going to blow that off because I got a, got a little bit weird. Just put a little bit extra white there. And I'll probably be blowing this off, but I'm just going to add a little bit white of white so it has enough paint to flow over the edge and then, um, you know, cover up the deep edge, the sides of the canvas. And I'm going to have some gaps on the side. I'll fill those in after I'm done play or blowing out these petals. And again, we'll just put a little bit extra there. And... Just a little bead, maybe, just to have some of that paint to fly around. Guys, I really have no idea if this is going to be nice or terrible. I mean, that's pretty. That's actually really pretty. Now, let's just hope I don't mess it up. Okay, so I'm going to blow this out first. Because we have this going over and we have that going over. So I'll push that off just a little bit. Okay, sorry about that, all that hair dryer noise. I was just kind of trying to go for it um, as I was kind of doing it. And then when you see, when you saw me add in some beads of white, that was to, when I first blew the paint was kind of getting all squiggly and weird. So what you do is you put a little bit of the white down and then that helps, you know, make your colors kind of flow better. So I need to just take a breath and think about this painting. Okay, um, I like the negative space, okay? There's a little bit of negative space. It's nothing crazy, but I like the little negative space pockets. That's cool. I do wish there was a negative space here. Yes, I can fix that. Do I want to um, risk it? I'm not 
not sure. Hmm. I am not sure. So let me just think about this. I'm probably going to turn it so I can get a better look at it. And I may go in. No, I think I'm going to leave that. Let's see if my cups are placed where I can just, yeah. Okay. I have a better look now. Yeah, I think I need some more negative space. Maybe keep this and put some here. Just a little, just a tiny bit. But I don't know. I don't know. Or I could just have the orientation. I don't know, guys. I wish you were here. I don't know. It's cool. I like the colors. Um, I definitely have some more of that yellow or the lemon sorbet going, showing because I put some um, on the bottom and on the top, I believe. So I kind of have a bunch of it there, which is cool. I don't know, though. I don't know how I feel about it. You don't hate it. See, this is going to be a piece where I'm definitely not going to scrape. I'm going to have to come back to it. And it's going to change a little bit, so let's just not get all... Eh. Um, so what I'm going to do, instead of just standing here looking at it confused <laughs> and not sure, I'm going to pause you guys and have a think about it, and then I'm going to come back. And I'll probably actually... I'll touch up my edges while I'm thinking about it. But I'm sure you guys don't want to sit through that process. So I'll hit pause and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So here's the deal. I touched up the sides of the canvas. I went inside. I left the studio for 30 minutes or so. Came back. And I have to say that I do really, really like this piece. Um, I was going to add some, some negative space here. I was going to scrape a little bit off and then maybe put in, just pour some white in and then feather out the edges a bit. But what I decided not to, I'm going to keep it like this. Uh, let's just do a quick fly over, over and then I'll flip on the flash. Well, it's already on, but I'll flip the camera. So it's cool. It's kind of galaxy-like. Uh, I love the colors. I promise I'll mix it up in my next video with the colors because I did just do that Dutch pour over there with those same colors but as you can see I had some left over and I really enjoyed that color palette so here we are and here's the flash um thanks for watching guys if you please let me know what you think anyway and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing let me know what you guys think do you want to see some more of these and yeah I guess that's me. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.